So an American hero, a hero to humanity, was holding up the Palestinian flag on the first light float of the Macy's Thanksgiving Day Parade. And I'm not on TikTok, so I don't know what people are saying about this, but it was my favorite uh, part of the parade by far. I love the Pokemon balloons, I love the Beagle Scout, Scout Snoopy, and the, the Lego Dragon. This was by far my favorite part. Uh, here on YouTube, there was only one video about it when I searched for it, and that one was critical of this hero, saying that people are scrutinizing this nonviolent protest. Um, if you're scrutinizing this, you're supporting genocide. So CBS should be ashamed for running a report like that. Uh, YouTube should be ashamed for only having one video about it and having that be the one and then putting a bunch of other ones about people gluing their hand to the parade route to block the parade to try to steer the conversation somewhere else. But all the people who are scrutinizing them should be ashamed for supporting genocide. We should all be able to support a nonviolent protest for oppressed people. And I was surprised and uh, disappointed to see that at least in that biased report, they said the Wapanog tribe that he belongs to is neutral, which is more heroic than a lot of people are, but not supporting this protest. You wouldn't think it would be that hard to get victims of genocide to support victims of a current genocide. And if we are all supporting of these ways of uh, supporting oppressed people, uh, trying to free Gaza, trying to free all oppressed people, then we can o overthrow tyrants, and we can do it from bed. I call it the pillar revolution. But thank you so much to this hero, and sorry for the bullying, and you're in the right, and we'll all uh, see that through. Um, I don't know why the tribe wouldn't support you other than they're afraid of losing something like their posh second place in the parade.